Okay, so the first thing to think about when looking at mutations is that mutations occur in the DNA. However, we're not really concerned with them until that DNA is transcribed into mRNA and then translated into a string of amino acids that makes a protein. So we're going to look at the DNA sequence, figure out the codons in mRNA, and look at what amino acids are produced. Okay, so if we look at this picture, this top part up here in white is the normal DNA. So it has not had any type of mutation. So we're going to look at that first, and then we'll look down here at the bottom. This tan section is after a mutation. So first of all, let's look at the top. So these blue strands are our double-stranded DNA molecule, and they've told us which one is our template strand. So that's this top one right here. So this first step then is transcription. So transcription takes the template DNA strand and adds complementary mRNA nucleotides. So that's down here, so you can see this is labeled mRNA in red. So here's our mRNA molecule that's transcribed from our template strand. Next is translation. So translation is when the codons of mRNA are read using the genetic code to get a string of amino acids. So that's this step right here into a string of amino acids called a protein. So if you look on the genetic code, you'll see that the first codon here, AUG, codes for MET or methionine. You'll see that the second codon here, AAG, codes for LYS or lysine. UUU codes for PHE or phenylalanine, and these are all names of amino acids. And then we have GGC, which codes for GLY or glycine, and we have a stop codon on the end. Now, a real protein would be much, much longer than four amino acids, but this is just for you know learning purposes. Okay, so this is our normal strand of amino acids that we get after gene expression of this strand of DNA up here. Okay, so now we're gonna look down here. So this is our mutated DNA. So we have, if we look down this strand, we're gonna see um, a set of nucleotides, and we're in particular looking at the bases. So a set of bases um, that have been changed, and they have them in yellow here. So Unfortunately, during replication, we got the wrong base, and so we have an A instead of a G. And if you look back up here at our unmutated strand, you can see that this was a G to start with, and now it's an A. And because this is an A, we end up getting a T in our other strand. Okay, so now we're going to go through transcription. So we're going to go from our template strand, so this is still our template strand here, to our mRNA molecule, which is here. And so all of this is going to be um, transcribed correctly into the correct mRNA um, bases. But when we get here, we're going to read A, and so we're going to put the complementary mRNA nucleotide, and that would be U. And the rest of it's gonna be read correctly. So now, we're going to go down here and we're going to read these codons again. So we're going to read AUG, and again, look at the genetic code that gives us methionine. AAG gives us lysine. UUU gives us phenylalanine. And GGU gives us glycine. So in this instance, we had a mutation in the DNA that changed the codon in the mRNA. However, if you remember the genetic code, you can have several codons that code for the same amino acid. So here we changed our codon from GGC to the codon GGU, but we still got the same amino acid. So even though there's a mutation in the DNA, there will be no effect on the amino acid sequence and no effect on the protein. So that's why we call this type of mutation silent. So when I give you um, problems or questions, 
where I give you a mutation in the DNA or I give you a mutation in the, mutation in the mRNA, you cannot tell me what type of mutation occurred unless you look at the genetic code. You will have to figure out what is the codon, what did it change to after the mutation, and then what amino acid did I get from it, and, and what happened? Did we get a same amino acid, a different amino acid, or maybe we got a stop codon? Okay, so in this instance, we got the same amino acid, so this is going to be a silent mutation.